up guys? If you can believe it, it's time to purchase another Vita game. Wow, it's... Well, it really wasn't that long because we had The Walking Dead, which actually, I just beat the 400 Days DLC yesterday and the game the, pr uh, the day prior. And wow, alright? No game has ever made me actually cry before out of just pure emotion and love for the characters. And when people were saying, you know, that, you know, yes, you're going to cry and all that stuff, I was like, yeah, whatever, you know, people are saps, but, jeez, I mean, I'm sort of a, I sort of have like a hardened kind of um, personality, you know, I, I'm more, uh, when I'm sad, I don't really express that emotion of sadness, other than probably just moping around and not saying much, but, yeah, I mean, that, it's, it, it really, because I was, like, resisting, and I was like, I'm not going to cry, I'm not going to cry, and it really hit me, like, they just did it so perfectly, so, amazing game, that's what I'm talking about, emotional experiences, I mean, it's, uh, stuff like that, games that make you feel like that, that's really the, um, the, the, the awesome thing, so, hold on for a sec. Anyway, we're going to go pick up uh, Killzone Mercenary, probably the only Vita game, the only big blockbuster Vita game that that's uh, that came out this year. With the exception, I, I guess you can say Soul Sacrifice, but this is like, you know, like a mainstream uh, series. As Killzone, you know, has been a PlayStation exclusive since, what, the mid-PlayStation 2 days. It's always been known for its amazing graphics and stuff like that. I mean, Killzone 2, rem remember the hype surrounding Killzone 2 when that came out? And regardless of whether you thought the game was good or bad, the graphics were just so ahead of its time. And it really um, catapulted that, you know, the PlayStation, uh, th the PlayStation 3 can be, you know, with its limitations in terms of its, in, uh, of its, uh, RAM and all that stuff, you know, for this generation, it could put out these amazing looking experiences. And now a PlayStation Vita, I mean, this is essentially the platform that blurs the lines between um, console and portable game platforms, uh, you know, alike. You're, you're supposed to get this console experience. And I played the beta, and it's definitely a console experience. So that's, that's pretty cool. But anyway, it's Tuesday. Um, next week, Grand Theft Auto V. It kinda, it's kind of funny because, um, you know, I remember when people were like, oh, I can't believe they delayed the game, and well, they're making a huge deal about it. And, you know, I mean, it, it's, I have to admit that it's coming pretty quickly. I mean, I was one of those people who didn't mind the delay to begin with because, why, why didn't I mind? I think, I think there was like other stuff going on um, that year. maybe I just didn't care. I mean, I'm excited for Grand Theft Auto V, but I'm not one of the, I'm, I'm not the type of person who shows it. You know, you, you're not gonna. When I talk about it, I'm not like Grand Theft Auto V. You know, I, I guess you can say I can control my my uh, excitement somewhat. But anyway, that's that's regardless. Um, be playing Killzone Mercenary on the Vita this whole week. Um, actually, this weekend, I plan to tackle the Splinter Cell Conviction co-op mode with my friend. Um, I don't think I'm going to record it. And the reason is, is my computer's still messed up. And I, I brought with me the Windows 8, Windows 7, and... Um, no, just Windows 8 and Windows 7 boot CDs. Um, the, the, the OS CD, so I'm going to see if I can reboot... Like if I can like you know do a system restore or something to like an earlier point, or if I have to re uh, re, uh, um, restore the factory settings and, and condition, I'll probably just be installing Windows 7 because Windows 8 actually has a license key amount and like Windows 7 you can just install it on any computer. You don't really need like um, there's like a certain license thing that Windows 8 has that they didn't use since Windows XP um, that re prevents you from like reinstalling it. Um, on more than one computer, you know? I remember back when I first got Windows 8, regardless of what your feelings on the OS are, you know, I personally don't have a problem with it. That's just, I, I just personally don't have a problem with it, but should be cool. Um, hopefully it works. Hopefully I'll be able to, um, 
uh, what you want to call it, you know, do videos again. I brought some Sony Vegas so I can restall that as well. Excuse me, there's a lot of traffic here because it's actually 4.30 in the afternoon. Um, usually I'd go at 10 in the morning, but I have class from like 11 to 3.45. So, I mean, it kind of sucks because I liked going to GameStop in the morning. And it's like, well, now I just have to, you know, kind of go after school. Because I was thinking whether I should go before or after. And I said, you know, I'm not going to rush myself. And there's just, there's just no time to go before. There really is no time. An hour is not enough time. If it was two hours, then yeah, probably. But an hour is not enough time to do what I need to do when I pick up a game. Anyway. So... I'm going to be picking up uh, Kills on Mercenary right now. I will see uh, you guys in uh, one bit. Pick up the game. Alright. So, here it is. They actually did not have their shipment. was not late, which is good, but here it is. It probably doesn't have a manual. It has a stupid memory card, but I also got a pre-order code as well. So I'll see you guys back at the house. We're going to be unboxing this thing. And um, yeah, bye. All right, guys. So here it is. Killzone Mercenary on the PlayStation Vita. Now, I also got my pre-order code thing. I guess it comes with like a weapon. Exclusive Blackjack's briefcase and M2, M2 24A1 LMG for uh, the game. So, I'm going to be unboxing this. I'm going to be playing the first 30 minutes for you guys and pretty much going to be playing it all this week. Um, so, yeah. Let's get right to it. Alright, so. Uh, let me get some scissors. Killzone Mercenary. Probably the best looking game I've ever seen on a mobile platform. Uh, I did play the beta and my god, I was more impressed with the graphics than I was with the game. I mean, the game is typical Killzone uh, gameplay. You either like it or you don't, and uh, that's up to you. Whether you know, it's it's a, it's a first-person shooter. It's all about gritty um, war with you know, I guess it has like a little sci-fi twist to it. I always thought the Kills and series was fun. Nothing spectacular, but I always liked the campaign of the games. Anyway, let's take a closer look at the case. All right, so the box art of the case, we have three, I guess, Mercs. Um, don't know if that's you. We don't know if that's you. We don't know if that's you. We got Hellgas Mass Staring, Kills on Mercenary logo. As you can see, it did win IGN's best of E3 uh, PlayStation Vita game, probably because it was the only PlayStation Vita game that was actually relevant at E3. Um, 200 megabyte memory cards, uh, 200 megabyte memory card, um, space you need on your, you know, your memory card. <laughs> that was kind of stupid, but, um, yeah, if you buy your games retail, you don't need to worry about space. If you buy your games retail, you can live off of a 4 gigabyte memory card, pretty much. So, alright, let's, uh, turn it back on, on its flip side and check that out. Alright, so on the back, war is our business. You have nine campaign missions. You have yeah, multiplayer up to eight players, and like I said, I played the beta. The multiplayer actually plays well. It it, it did play well. Um, ex this the it's just a Vita game, and I'm not gonna sit there for two hours straight playing a Vita a Vita game. Well, probably two hours. I could probably do anything more than that. No, <laughs> definitely not. But that's the back of the case. Pretty boring. Just a hell gas and an in-game screenshot. Let's uh, take a look inside. And here is our jam-packed full of contents inside there's no insert there's just your memory card because that's what you pay the extra five dollars for to have the box anyway um that is the unboxing for killzone mercenary there you go that's that's the cartridge i'm gonna be playing this immediately right now i'm gonna be recording the first 30 minutes i'll have that up for you guys um if you want to hear a small little update i might as well just put that in this weekend I need to fix my computer. I brought all my Windows uh, CDs, my my software CDs, um, as well as my you know Vegas editing software. So if all goes to hell and I have to completely restore the factory settings, um, then I can at least install the editing software, so I don't have to you know wait. Oh my gosh, now I have to wait another two weeks to do that. Regardless. Um, other than that, uh, we're playing the Splinter Cell Co-op this weekend with a friend. 
don't think I'll do videos unless you guys really want them. I know my Splinter Cell um, Conviction Co-op videos, which I actually did a couple months ago, were really popular. Um, but that was because we were preparing for Splinter Cell Blacklist and a lot of people actually liked those. Um, I don't know if I'll be recording Splinter Cell Blacklist Co-op, but I'll definitely be recording a Spies vs. Merc multiplayer match because I did play the multiplayer and I was having some fun in it once you get used to it. It's actually pretty uh, fun and interesting. Um, on my own, I'll probably be playing the first Prey because I did actually buy the first Prey. I always wanted to play it, but I never did. So if I beat the co-op, that's probably what I'll be doing this weekend is playing Prey, Splinter, ooh, excuse me, Splinter Cell Blacklist co-op, and then Killzone Mercenary. I'll let you guys know as well, because next week is Grand Theft Auto V, I'll let you guys know if I have like a written review up for, because uh, I need to do a written review up for, for Splinter Cell Blacklist. Probably I'll do one for Killzone Mercenary. I have no idea if you guys really want it, but um, if you want to check out my reviews, go, go to industrialgamer.com or proforever.com. Uh, those both go to the same place. And uh, I will let you guys know via Twitter when I have that written review of Splinter Cell Blacklist um, up. So, other, other than that, um, this has been the unboxing. It's nice to get back to the swing of these. Next week is Grand Theft Auto V. This is going to be a large unboxing because I have the GameStop Exclusive Collector's Edition to unbox for you guys. And then after that, it's Beyond Two Souls a couple weeks later. And then pretty much we're dead until the next-gen consoles come out. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy these unboxings. Like I said, it's not a lot of stuff to unbox these days, but... When we get back into the swing of things with the next gen coming up, um, things will really start to get hectic and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so I hope you join me for the first 30 minutes. If you do, please do. Um, or if you're thinking about it, please do. And uh, yeah. All right, I'm going to go now because I'm, now I'm just stalling. Bye.